Assalamu alaikum guys, this is me Senpai Gamer San, I'm your host Senpai, we're playing the game Friend Zone. Now I don't know about you guys that you guys ever tried to play this game or not, but to me I just tried this game in the previous year and this is the old game. This game released in 2018 but it doesn't release in my country, I don't know why but it released in America and the other country too. I know you guys already play this game but not me and uh, I mean I tried didn't try to play fully because uh, some of the connection I tried to play it and never tried to end it okay here we go Nick man what the fuck wrong with these people sent by gamer son Damn it! You just added the Amelia Gale, a cute girl that you met earlier in the day. After meeting her at the school, you're an unforgettable woman. You want to get to know her some more. Okay. She looks beautiful. Huh. She accepted my chance. Huh. Do I know you? When I saw your gorgeous face, I knew right then and there that I needed to edit you. Nope. This is a dick move. Who's going for sex? You just have to choose these two options. We met earlier in the cafeteria. We are in the same geology class. I think you have to be a little bit geeky here. We are in the same geology class. Oh yeah, I think I've seen you before. Senpai Gamer San, right? Yeah, I noticed your during presentation. Yeah, I also remember seeing your friend. Wait guys, let me clean the screen. Yeah, Zoe, I'm sure you have noticed that she is a bit of geek and easily flustered, but she is really nice. See, I told you guys, you have to be smart in this. This is why I mention her friend, otherwise she won't like it to chat with me. I'm sure she is. I'm sure she is. Don't insult her. It's gonna be a problem. See, even you notice that she's a great person. Anyway, sorry to cut the thing short, Senpai Gamer son, but I'm meeting up with Brian in the hour. A guy I meet in the cafeteria. I know him, you should be careful around that guy. Really? I didn't get that impression. He was rather shy around me. I thought it was cute. I want to keep talking to talk. Send me a message around 10 a.m. I'll be available around. Can't wait. Haha, <laughs> you seem excited. Talk to you tonight, senpai. The chapter will end in few seconds. Cool. Oh, cool! She got hooked. So you have to be uh, frankly friendly, I guess. The end of the day has come. Emmy asks you to f send her message at 10 a.m. Should you follow the thoughts of you decide? <sighs> I'm here. Senpai Gamer San, you are right on time. I wasn't expecting you to be that great. Emmy will remember you as a punctual person. Oh, okay. It's always good to be on time. I mean, sometimes you gotta take it slow, Senpai Gamer San. Did you have a good evening? You mean take it slow like a relationship? I play piano. Excellent. I play piano. 
Oh, you play the piano? That's awesome. You're lucky I know how to play. I play the violin. Well, this is some kind of animation relationship shit or something. Anyway. Okay. There is a pairs that I just love. It's called the river flows. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. I was here. <sighs> There's a phrase that I just love. It's called river flows in you. But I can't remember the name of the composer. Huh. That's good. Anyway, so this is some kind of relationship shit. Animation relationship. Huh. I play piano, you play violin. Cool. It's Supin. It's Yurama. Yurama. Yuruma. Yuruma. It's Yurima. Oh, right, that seems like you're a quite cultivated person. Or maybe just a Twilight fan. <laughs> I'm just kidding you. Huh. I think music helps us to cope with our daily lives. And that is the nurtures our soul. Don't you agree? Don't you agree? Don't you agree? It's the soul rather than bring such something. Yeah, that's true. I better be agree. If I say something usual flirting dialogue, she gonna be fucked up with it. She gonna be dropped down to hook and she say, you have to take it slow, bitch. I'm leaving you. Yeah, that's what she gonna do. You understand what I mean then? Oh, by the way, my ending with Brian was pretty crappy. The guy has a zero passion, but at least we went on a nice walk and I took some pictures. Do you wanna see them? Yes, please. Let's see the picture. Cool. Hold on, I gotta find them. Oh. That's a beautiful place. That's a beautiful lake. That's the lake near where I live. What's so special about it to you? Well, thanks for asking. I used to walk it with my little sister when we were kids. We had so much fun back then. This is the same lake, but later in the day, I couldn't miss this shot. Wait, what? Red sun. At first it was yellow, now red sun. That's weird. This is the same lake with the letter on the one shot, okay? I like this area. It's pretty much that reminds me so many things. I mean, it's just so dreamy and brings so many emotions out. Okay. I imagine that's what you feel too. I feel joy and warmth. I have to agree with her. You're that's beautiful. I can feel the warmth as well as so many good memories with people near and dear to my heart. I love feeling I love feeling such strong emotions. Do you have any other passion? I have to ask her that. How nice of you ask. You'll probably think I'm aware, but I love writing horror stories. The same here, bro. The same here. In the free time, I actually write her on a horrorstory.com. I write stories under the name Lucy. Which, by the way, Zui and I sometimes get together in the middle of the night to tell each other our scary stories. Would you wanna get together with us in the horror story parts? Totally. <laughs> horror party. Cool. With two girls. Ah, you sound super excited. In that case, I will send you an invite conversation tomorrow night. Around the midnight. 
<sighs> Great. See you tomorrow, Emmy. I hope she doesn't mind that, that kind of short name. Thanks. Good night. The chapter in. At the midnight, the horror story organized by Amy Zoe begins, and you prepare yourself for fighting the experience. Amy and Zoe. Hello. Zoe look like a Japanese. Anybody around? Hey. It said do not participate in this chat room at night. Why is that? He shouldn't be long. He's usually on time. Hello to both of you. <coughs> Senpai gamer son. Could you be any more excited? No. I know I already mentioned here to you. But please meet my friend Zoe. Good evening Zoe. Okay. Greeting, Mr. Phineas. Zoe. Yeah, yeah, I know. She already told me about you. Please finally meet you. Are you guys ready for the horror party? I'm ready. Yeah. Do you want an active Imris mood? Yeah, let's go. Oh, damn it. Well, friends, it's time to turn off all the lights. Ladies first. Okay, macho man. Will you start, Zoe? Roger that. Anyway, I will begin. Everything's begin on the dark and stormy night. Oh, cool. It was the night before the Halloween. That night, a couple was arguing and the man was thrown out the house. He shacked up the nearest motel and went check on his wife the following night at the 10 past midnight. In order to get into the house, he told his wife that he had to forget an, a t-shirt upstairs. So she went up to grab it. Quietly he opened the door, snuck into the kitchen, grabbing a knife before silently making his way back to the front door. When she came down, his wife said, What are you hiding behind your back? And with the wide grind, he stabbed her ten times, yelling, Your death. Oh no! What? Zoe? Ah, oh, fucking... Gotta go to the bathroom. Geez, it's emotional roller coaster with you. She's scaring the shit out of me. She's a great storyteller. Yeah. Zoe is gifted a storyteller. She dreams it all, then writes it down in the middle of the night. I quite like the Zoe. What if I said that? No, she gonna be pissed off. Okay, she does a great job. Just say that. I totally agree. And is your story ready, Senpai? I always got up, got on my sleep, 
got one up on my sleeve. Cool. Can't wait to hear it. I'm back. Ah, hey Zoe. Say nothing. Before we continue, Emmy. No, I didn't dream this one. This one is true story. Huh? So, after the murder, one year went by. Then come October on the night of Halloween, the man tracked down his ex-wife's sister and slit her throat. But the neighbor heard that the scream looked out on window and made a eye contact with the assassin. She immediately called the police and the killer ran away. She described the killer from the head to toe the police while trembling. The man was at least six and half feet tall and was wearing a mask small enough to reveal a white grind. Fortunately, Unfortunately, the following year of Halloween, once again, the man broke into the witness house and stabbed her ten times. The story goes that as the years, the man still continues a visit those houses on Halloween night. Watch out, he could be anywhere. He could be near you, Senpai Gamer son. He ruthless. Okay. So she's a Japanese girl and she's telling me the story about the man who can stab ten times. Okay. Say nothing. That's horrible, Kuduzui. You managed to freak me out. Zoe is about to scare Amy. Do you want to play along? My bedroom door just cracked open. Okay, that's um, by your son. Now you're trying to freak us out even more. Uh, guys. My window is open. So what? I swear it was closed before I went to bed. You're just trying to scare the shit out of me, huh? I am dead serious. Senpai Emerson, you are freaking me out. That's the whole point of the party. Hold on. I heard something downstairs. Lol, now you are recycling our prank. Emmy? I think we need to take her seriously. No, I don't think so. Whatever is true though. She'll be back, just wait. I know she's here anyway because she's reading our messages. Emmy, if you don't reply in one minute, I'm calling the police. Ah, uh, gotcha. I spoke both of you, huh? Not at all. I admit it. I admit it, you had me there for a sec. <laughs> I'm pleased with my prank though. Pleased. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's your turn, honey. Emmy? Alright, oh, sorry. I'm actually pretty tired. Seriously, we are just starting to have some fun. Okay, fine. Amy left the chat room. She's kind of weird. Agreed. I see what's up. I mean, she's my best friend. Okay. Anyway, I will keep you posted. Have a good night, Senpai Gamer son. Good night.
You have something else to say? By the way, it's sweet that Amy is so interested in someone. I've only heard a good things about you. Please don't let her down. Lol. Oh. She finally loved me. She finally. Oh, great. God damn it, this app. Ads. Chapter 4 The Next Morning. Hello, Sampai Gamer San. I'm Amy's father. I'm sending you to Zoe this message because when we got back this morning from our weekend trip, our daughter wasn't home. We were aware that she was planning on chatting with you and her friends, so we'd like to know if she came over to your house. Please respond ASAP. We were very worried. Maybe she was with a Zori. Maybe. The problem is that Zoe isn't answering our messages. Either she didn't tell you anything. I'm calling the police. Is that serious? You and Zoe, you both uh, have no idea. Last night you probably weren't even talking to her, at least not at the end. It was obviously someone else. My wife who got kidnapped. Great. I hate this. What the hell? One year has passed since Amy disappeared, but her parents and the police haven't given up. While for some hope slowly turns into to disappear, an ele element of the past suddenly show up and shake up your day. She is missing between one year? Excuse me? Yes? A woman on the streets hollers at you. Don't we know each other? Maybe I can't remember from you. Are you Zoe? Yeah, that's me. So... That's what you look like in real life. Senpai gamer son. Oh, come on, don't start. I wasn't expecting you to look like that either. Let's talk like that. No, everyone touches up their profile pics at least a little bit. It's pretty wild running into you later. later. Yeah, totally. Nice to see you. What were you up for these days? Well, I'm not gonna lie. I completely lost. What? Amy was the only person that truly understood me. My parents are trying to help me, but I still feel guilty. I mean, if that's the case, then we are both to blame. I don't agree. I told you I would check up on her and I ended up not doing anything. I thought she was sleeping. You wouldn't be able to do anything to do. We wouldn't have been able to do anything with you. You don't know that. I'm trying to forget all this and move on. How are Amy's parents? Her parents? Christopher is still standing tall and doing nothing to find his little girl. By the way, he had told me that he was really thankful for your cooperation the day after Amy disappeared. He's a good guy. He's like a second father to me. He's done a lot. But what's up with you? Uh, well, trying to move forward while keeping the hope alive. I'm trying as well. But as each day goes by, my hope finding her again is diminishes. 
I'm sorry if you haven't been able to get in touch with me since then I deleted my account on the chat website. Okay. Do you ever consider to signing back again? If I do that, then I will see conversation again. M is photos. No, thank you. How can I pick in touch with you then? Can I at least get your number then? I don't really like texting, but I will give it to you. Zoe, you exchange the number with Zoe. Are you still taking the same classes? Not really. When she disappeared, it was too much to bear. The first day, but it was already hard enough with everyone staring at me. Do you know still plan to going back to school? You know what? Let's not talk about this anymore. We gotta move forward. What if I say that? It's nice of you to help. And I think you are right. Listen, I don't want to miss my train. I'm gonna go. No problem. I'll see you again soon. I'll see you soon then. Zoe was hoping for more kinder reunion. Have a good day. Zoe leaves the chapter in in few seconds. Cool. Oh man. Chapter 6 A Mysterious Disappearance. The next morning. Emmy Bell? Emmy, is that you? Is that really you? Yes. I didn't want to wake you up. How do you know you woke me up? I was hoping you were sound asleep. Are you safe? I have never been safer in my life. What in the world are you talking about? You must be really tired of you don't understand. I'm so sorry for scaring you that night. I didn't mean to. I mean, I don't understand any of this. I promise you will understand everything soon. Take my hand. Take her hand. You grab her hand. Are you afraid of something? I'm afraid to losing you, Emily. I understand. I'm also afraid to losing someone. I'm going to share a secret with you. I always have a hard time to sharing this. I'm an offer. I never knew my biological parents. You succeeded to uncovering the important clue. Oh, cool. But at least I have my little sister. But I was always afraid of losing the one person related to me with the collision war. Please continue. I trusted her with my life. She's two years younger than me, but she's an absolute angel. I love her. My God, look at this scene. Look at this. A perfect world truly does exist. A world with no correction, no sadness. Get closer to Amy. You get closer to Amy. Simpai Gamer-san? 
Well, we all have affairs in the world. Some nightmares don't exist. And they're only fears in dreams. And that is what you are doing with me, dreaming. What? What? This is all dream? You could have avoided all this and sleep and deep down you know it. How could I avoid all of this? It's up to you to find out. Find out how could you be prevented my death. What? You are dead? Oh. Oh. oh my god. I prevented her death? What? I prevented that? What the fuck? The next morning you receive a message from Zoe. Hello. Hey Zoe, how are you? Yo 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 LOL you nerd Say why did you say how's it going? I'm well, I have a good day. What about you? I'm fine, thanks for asking. Don't mention it. So, what do I owe this message? Well, yeah. look at her. She looks hot. Hard though. Lol, just say that I got some free time. Well, I'm glad you reach out. I guess Amy would have liked us to keep talking to each other. I thought we said we should stop talking about Amy. Yeah, I agree. You know what? I bet she would have liked us to be even more than just friends. Nah, that would be straightforward. So I just have to agree with her. <sighs> we are on the same page then. Speaking of which, may I ask you to out of dinner? Hey, I'd like to ask you to dinner tonight, but I don't know the good place in the area. Speaking of which, may I ask you to out of dinner? Mm. Duck, duck. I will admit I was planning on watching some Game of Thrones, but I can watch it later. So does that mean yes? Well duh you potato head. <laughs> she is a Japanese damn it bitch. Anyway I'm glad that you didn't invite me to the movies like everyone else. I find it so annoying. You must be high demand. Well what's matter is that right kind of people ask you out. True, well I hope I'm not making a mistake with you. I could say same about you. I could say the same about you. Because I need to get some respect too, man. I guess... Don't mind me if I'm super direct at times. It's already somewhat unusual that I have accept to meet a guy so quickly even if technically we have known each other for years. It's okay, no worries. Well cool then, anyway, what's up with you? I'm listening music, you?
in that case i hope you got a good taste in music because i really need to discover some new artists right now i'm looking for editing glitch in the last star of wars star wars is so cool You like Star Wars? So you are not just a romantic Phineas. Cool. Sounds like we will have a lot of talk about it. <laughs> romantic Phineas. I don't really necessarily want to be your confident either. Yes, yeah, so it sounds like we will have tons of stuff to talk. Ashimetel <laughs> Shinata. Kimi aru si nanu aru hosu ga nasu naru Sounds like a senpai gamer son. Oh by the way I finally decided to sign a backup again on the chat website. Seeing you again made me realize that I need to move forward and I'm trying to decide between two profile pics. Why I couldn't see this figment god damn it. Which one do you think I should upload? Wow, you are absolutely stunning. That's nice to you to say. I admit when I say, oh, so that's what you look like the other day. It was because I was pleasantly surprised. So he finds you attractive. So the first one or the second one? The first one. Okay, first one it is then. I guess that one isn't the bad. It's short of show my mysterious sight. That is exactly what I was thinking. I agree. There I upload it. Alright, I'm gonna get ready for the tonight. I got a bunch of stuff to do. What time I should come over? We can meet at the same place we saw each other the day I live near there. I'll be around 7.30. See you there later. Ah, man. Chapter 8, the date. It's time to go meet Zoe. 7.25. Arrive on time. Right on time, Senpai Gamer son. I remember now you were always on time. It's important to be on time so that you are not waiting around. Fair point. You seem to be a pure gentleman. True gentleman. Shall we? I check on the Google look like a closet restaurant the three minutes away. It's an Italian. Is that okay? I have a hard time to Italian thing. Let's go. Great. Both you walk to the restaurant. You will see it won't take long. In the meantime, let's play a game. I will ask you a question. If you give me a wrong answer, then it will mean that we don't. The date won't go well at all. If you give me right answer, then the date will be perfect. Dance lose like I gotta lose it then. All right, lay it on me. I can feel your stress level rising. What's the name of the guy who created the Star Wars? Okay, here we go again. Let's see. George Loquess. 
Okay, I will admit that was the easy question. Easy? But I didn't want tonight to get off rookie start. Here we are. I believe this is it. So I show you the inside the way it approaches you. Ah, <sighs> cool. Good evening. May I offer you a window table near the other customers? Do you happen to have anything bit more private? So he disagrees. Actually, over the by the window is fine. Please take a seat. The waiter hands you me. Yes. I'll come back in few minutes. Menus, I mean. Tell me a bit more about yourself. I'd rather talk about you. In that case, what would you like to know? Do you have any brothers or single? Are you single? Yes. That's it? I have many guys ask me out, but it never sticks. Usually it's guys for just for sex. I see. We are not like we are not all like that. It's a guy who I'm aware of that and I hope I'm not wrong. I'm saying that you are different. Did you decide what you're going to eat? Kettlefish Rosetta. How about uh, I will have a plate of pasta. Okay. I'm going to have a plate of Gonchi Al Romona. The waitress come back to take your orders. Hey, I saw Christopher as I was walking home today. What did he say to you? He is glad to know that you have been doing well this past year. By the main thing he told me was that the police finally have big lead of Emma's disappearance. Really? Apparently, but don't look too much into it because that's what he always say. Deep down, he's just saying that his wife will smile again. His main goal is to keeping hope alive. Yeah, I understand. It's hard to understand if you are not a father. The waitress interrupts your decision and serves you dinner. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. You know the first time we spoke, I know the right way that you were a gentleman. And I know you were someone special. That's nice, senpai. <coughs> Which reminds me, Brian still won't leave me alone. I can't stand that guy anymore. Don't worry, I can take care of it. You would do that for me? That's sweet. Though you feel safe for the first time. I brought something to show you. Look at this book I found in the ground a few days ago. It's a brand new. What it is? Let's talk about the sign. What do you mean? It's fairly simply based on the characteristics of the personality we can make any interference. For example, what's your favorite mixed color between red, white, blue, green, and pink, white, blue? I love 
blue and green okay it said that you are a man with shitty taste forget about it it says some pretty bad stuff come on tell me what it says well you're the most like not very attractive which is why you are interested in such horrible mix think about this seriously this book is full of shit I actually believe more in the dream of interpretation by the way I have a dream about Amy oh yeah what was she saying she told me that she was an orphan that's surprising why because it's the truth i believe all of that she had only shared that with me and it was really hard to accept no nope, i'm not going to tell her that she was that it's going to be desperate her at least that a further proof that the dreams can bring to the light important information Sometimes I may dream that I will be rich later in life, and sometimes I dream that I will be poor. <laughs> What matter is that? At least you keep dreaming. Do you still da- write down your nightmares? No. Now I just paint. I can show you later if you want. Sure. Who? The waiters give you the bill. Uh, uh in real i do this split the bill but now um in i guess i have to get it no let's split it i insist well that was good it was even better because you were here i also enjoy your company walk home walk me home Sure. The chapter ends. How many this game had a chapter, man? It's a nine o'clock in a starry n- night sky. It's beautiful. You are both walking t- too slowly to take all in a way. It's recording. Cool. The night sky is absolutely beautiful. I read somewhere that the sky is the biggest treasure of all, but the man will never realize it. Your eyes must be the stars no one yet conquered. Nope. You are the same way. That's a beautiful saying. Let's just say that I am agreeing with her. Okay. This is the great night when everything is silent. You see the lights going out little by little. And all that's left is the wind whispering in your ear. You both walk past cemetery. I didn't know that there was a place. There was a cemetery near your place. Brian is suddenly standing in front of you, completely drunk. Brian, are you too? Oh ho! You are the guy with that Amy talk about, aren't you? Same boy, gamer son. Yeah, that's your name. Thanks. Look like a swap cheek, just as you often to change your shirt. Fight the Brian. Oh, Zoe. Zoe looks cute. That's me. I look like Brian. Look like a zombie. Okay. How the fuck you calling me the swab chicks, huh? It should have been you that night instead of me. The night Amy disappeared. Video loading. What the hell? Just as you tries, ties with Zoe began to grow stronger. Oh, just as your ties began to. Getting stronger. 
After this Sketrovic date with Emmy and having a learn about the horror party being organized with you and Zoe, Brian planned to stalking her place, hoping to find you instead e witness. What? I have to reopen this game to see what it say. Just as your ties with Zoe began to grow stronger, Brian revelations sent shiver down your spine. Why is that? After discussing the date with Amy and having learned about the order party being organized with you and Zoe, Brian planned to stuck in her place hoping to find you. Instead, he witnessed he cast a friend me. Oh, so it, he thought I was going to be date with Zoe at her place, but I called her out. Smart move I did. I guess that's it. Chapter 10. We did full playthrough and I give you the full detail that how do not get friend zoomed. How to hook up with girls. Okay, I guess that's it. That's all for now. We're gonna be play the got friend zone 2. And I hope you guys love the one, the first one. So, yeah, I gotta go. Let me know what you guys think of this gameplay. I'm gonna catch you guys inshallah next time when we meet again with the another gameplay. Bye bye, take care, love you all. Allah Fisha Pakistan Zindabad. Peace.